hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how to configure tp-link router we will be discussing van internet and lan configuration and wi-fi configuration as well so in default if your router is on the uh, initial configuration you can just uh, connect it with the lan cable and you can uh, go to 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 which will be the default IP of uh, the TP-Link router and the password you just keep it admin only username and password will be admin admin in case if you have uh, username caller and click on quick setup and choose the desired timing depending on your time zone right now I'm in um, UAE so I'm gonna choose Abu Dhabi time zone and we can uh, try to auto detect the van connection so right now it's when I try to auto detect it's uh, automatically shown dynamic IP which means uh, I have a dynamic IP now but in case if you have a PPPoE connection from ISP or static IP from ISP or dynamic IP whatever you can choose with that option if it's a PPPoE the next step it will ask for a username and password which you already got from the ISP and if it's a static IP you have a public static IP then you can go with the static IP and even it's um, even you have a um, private static IP you can uh, put that one if you connect it from another router so right now I'm gonna go with the um, um, uh, static IP which is a private IP address actually this is the LAN IP of uh, LAN network of my uh, LAN network of my uh, the first router So let me roll back to the dynamic IP so that I'm gonna get one of the free IP in my LAN network. Um, we can go with the do not clone MAC address but in case if your ISP says you need to clone the MAC address to the router's um, MAC address for the internet connection so you have to choose that option and here you have option to choose the wireless name SSID name which means the name of the Wi-Fi so you need to provide your company name or something that you want that you want to uh, name the Wi-Fi so I'm just gonna put office Wi-Fi you can rename this one you can name it according to your requirement and choose the complex password here I'm putting very simple password put a complex password so that the people cannot guess and um, that they cannot break into a router easily so after that you just click on the save option this is the simplest uh, configuration that I have shown using the quick setup option but you can do it manually all the steps are gonna be uh, configured can be configured uh, manually using the advanced option but uh, this is the best option for the people who doesn't know much about the network and all the stuff so right now if I'm checking my wireless connection I just want to enable my wireless connections so I can uh, I can check if there is a Wi-Fi name that I have configured so let's see I can see that office Wi-Fi is already there which means uh, our Wi-Fi Wi-Fi SSID is broadcasting and I can just put the password and connect to that uh, Wi-Fi and if you already have the van up link we should be able to connect to the internet right now and here you can just uh, see the wireless and wired lines i just need to refresh i think because it's not uh, displaying the wireless clients you can see the number of uh, clients which is connected to the router right now using the network map now you can see that there is one wireless client which is my laptop and one wired client as well which is also my laptop so this is how you can configure the router guys uh, thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell